In this section of the Solid Plant 2014 demo, I'll be showing you how to place equipment into your plant assembly, and then we'll be locating that equipment to a layout sketch and also to existing items in the plant. I'll also be showing you a nice SolidWorks trick for dealing with large assemblies. The first thing we'll do, we will go to our top view. We'll zoom in on our item of interest. This tank in the center of our screen is a large de-aerator tank. We want to select this area. I will perform a box select from right to left. It's also known as a crossing box. All items in the box or touching the outer line will be selected. From the right mouse menu I then select isolate and all other items in the plant assembly will be hidden by SolidWorks. As you can see we're only left with the items we're interested in. As I rotate that for a better view, you can see how handy that is. I will then come over to our isolate dialog box and save this isolation as a display state. I'll simply enter a name here. And then we will hit the OK button. And then we'll exit the isolation and all of the other items will reappear. I also want to save this as a view orientation. So I bring up my orientation with the space bar and I select new view, enter a name for this view, and hit OK. This will save the orientation and the zoom of this particular view. And there you can see it in my list. I can then close that. If I go to my configurations tab in the SolidWorks feature manager, you will see in the display states grouping at the bottom that I have an area one listed. If I double click on that, it returns to the isolation that I had earlier with all of the other items hidden. So this is our view we want to work in. Now I need a plot layout with which I want to locate some equipment. If you look in the feature manager, you will see that I have such a layout. It is currently suppressed. And it will locate some equipment right here under the tank for us. To show that, I'll simply right-click on it and unsuppress. And there you can see our plant layout is clearly visible. So this rectangle here, we'll be placing a pump on, and we'll also be using the footer on this lower left to place some equipment. Now if I come over to my Solid Plant Project Manager and look at my document list, you can see that I have lots of equipment listed. If you see the blue item there, that's the one we'll be placing, MWP-121. If I scroll up, you can see all of the equipment in here, and this is in fact our equipment node expanded. So I will select our main water pump, 121. You can see the preview in the bottom. and then I will drag that into our plant assembly. It is important to note that in Solid Plant we use a middle mouse button drag to drag items into our plant assembly. And in this case we will dismiss the mate function as it pops up automatically by SolidWorks. What I want to do now is to move this pump into position using the move equipment function. We will simply so Click the function and then the component to move will be moving one point to another so the point to move will be the corner on the low pump. We activate that box, we'll be connecting those two points so we select this one. The input box automatically selects the next box. We select our sketch point, apply, and then our pump moves into position. I then expand the rotate group as I want to rotate this for better proper alignment. I select an edge to rotate, select the box, type in an angle, 270 should do, apply, and you can see our pump rotates along that edge into the correct position. And then we close out the mate.
Now the next piece of equipment I want to bring in, as you can see, is in blue, meaning we have our CAD model, as mentioned before. We simply drag that into our pump. This is a steam header we'll be placing on the footer. Drag that in with the middle mouse button. And in this case, when the solid plant solid works mate function pops up, we leave it open and we will be using it for this piece of equipment. So we want to place it on top of this footing. So we select the top face of the footing. I'll rotate, get a better view. Select the bottom face of this leg and then hit the OK check mark on the mate pop-up toolbar. Move this for a better view. We select the side face of our leg and the side face of our footing. SolidWorks moves those into position. They are backwards in this case, so we simply hit the mate alignment button. SolidWorks flips them into correct alignment. We hit OK. We simply do the same thing for the final leg, selecting the end of face and then the end face of the footing also. Those move in perfect. We hit OK. That's where we want it. We then close out our mate function. And there you have. We very quickly and easily place two pieces of component on our sketch and on some existing.